Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. What I wanted to talk about today was some easy reach fragrances. So for me, easy reach means, first of all, they're fragrances I enjoy wearing, but also they're fragrances that I feel like aren't going to offend or other people. I don't have to think about, is this the right fragrance to wear on this kind of occasion? And they're also fragrances that I tend to, they're, they're, I don't have to think too much about. I'm sure we all have fragrances that we have to be in a certain mood to wear. Whereas to my mind, easy reach, are, I know I'm going to enjoy wearing it and it's going to be okay for, for whatever situation. So if that sounds interesting, please stay tuned. First of all, I think this is a very good easy reach fragrance and that's Musk 12 by Kayali. This is, in terms of a light musk, you can't go past musk 12 in my view. It's just delightful. It's delicate, but it lasts, I get three hours on the skin at least, if not a little more, three to four hours, but it's lovely and delicate. There's something, there's something beautifully peaceful about it. So the floral I pick up in here is the lotus flower, which I'm deciding more and more I really like. It's, it's a gentle, delicate, aquatic smelling flower. And that's what it brings to Musk 12. There's also freesia in here, which I don't get as much. And there's jasmine. But for me, as I say, it's that watery flower, the lotus flower that I really enjoy in here. The musk is dialed down too. It's slightly powdery and we've got sandalwood and vanilla in the base. But all in all, this, this is just very calming and peaceful. I, I enjoy, enjoy it enormously. And as I say, I get three to four hours out of it. So if I want to put something on and I'm going anywhere, shops, work, to bed, this, this just works. This just works for that. That's Musk 12 by Kayali. Next up for easy reach, I've picked this one from Montal. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because I don't think there's that many easy reaches in Montal or Mansara for that matter. I think, I think generally speaking, you have to be prepared to sign on for, for those, these fragrances. But this one's a little bit different. That's Aqua Palma. And Aqua Palma is, I would describe it as, as kind of an unusual freshie. So it's, it, to me, it's got a toothpaste-y, menthol -y kind of vibe to it. It's not especially in your face. And there's cardamom in it. Um, very refreshing on a hot day, a warm to hot day, but also sticks with, sticks with me. So I get four or five hours out of this. I think if the weather was cooler, it would last longer, but it lasts four or five hours on a hot day. And it's just, yeah, like mentholy toothpaste with a touch of cardamom. There's a million notes in here, but, but that's what I mostly get. And I just think you smell good. And no one around, I don't worry that anyone around me is going to be bowled over by this because it's not especially strong. That's Aqua Palma by Montal. Next, we have Neon Rose by Floral Street. Oh, this is lovely. This is really, really lovely. I'm just gonna double check the, I think it's pear. I think it's pear in here. I'll just double check the, the fruit note. It's certainly got Bergamot Cassis and Angelica in here. That's right, it gives it an apple blossom, apple blossom. So it's kind of, in a way, in the same family as Musk 12. It's, it's got, I, I, none of the notes are the same. And this, this is a fruity floral with, with the rose as well, with the rose. But for me, they're interchangeable in the circumstances I'd wear them in. That's Musk 12 and Neon Rose. It's very fresh very green rose and I again like the musk 12 get three or four hours hours out of this without needing to respray and I can smell it for that time um, but I, again I know it's not going to be offensive to anyone around me really pretty with some fruity sweetness 
that is Neon Rose. Neon Rose by Floral is Street. Sexy Amber by Michael Kors. There's not, a not, uh, there's not a lot of notes listed on Fragrantica for this one, but it's mostly um, amber and sandalwood, and it also lists white florals. I mostly get quite a dialed down amber. It's, it's more of a sweet amber. It's not an in-your-face, heavily resinous kind of amber at all. And the sandalwood, the, it's very appealing. So this this is different in my collection i mostly have fragrances with florals fragrances with fruit this one is is neither floral fruity nor spicy it's it's more it's more woody and i think there's musk in here even though it's not not listed i really enjoy wearing this it's a little bit, the sandalwood in here is very like the sandalwood in Sensuous by Estee Lauder. But this one, and I wore this earlier today. Yeah, I wore this earlier today and it lasted four hours. It's very appealing. It feels fresh in a way and professional. Anyone around you smelling this? would think it's fine. It's it's kind of subtle, but I can still smell it as well. It, it's not like its name. I, I, I don't feel that this is sexy amber. I feel this is, it's happy. It's happy, um, woody, slightly powdery. That is Sexy Amber by Michael Kors. More easy reach. I, I don't think there can be an easy reach uh, video really without talking about eccentric molecules. Um, they are unisex, but they're, I, I quite enjoy them. I want to wear them more as the weather heats up. The one I've got here today, have I got this around the right way? No, there we go, is eccentric 01. So this is the ISOE Super this has got some other things in it. The molecules, like molecule one, two, three, et cetera, have just that single, single note, whereas the eccentric has the single note plus some others. So the eccentric 01 is the ISOE super, and I'm just gonna um, get for you what else is in here. To me, it's, slightly woody, sli ever so slightly woody, ever so slightly green and ever so slightly citrus. The Isoe Super, the pink pepper, a mouthy lemon and the iris. And now all I can smell actually is this one. And that's how they work together actually. This will enhance whatever else you've got on. So, but in terms of out the door, I want to throw something on. I want to feel fresh. Let me just pop it here. Yeah. If you like, if you like kind of fresh unisex fragrances, this is good. And this projects and it also lasts a long time on the skin. I've enjoyed exploring these eccentric ones and and what I'll try and do in the hot weather too is layer them more with other fragrances, especially this Eccentric 01 with the ISOE Super, to see if it does prolong other fragrances. This, you will smell this and, but I, it doesn't, the scent bubble's not huge. So it's, and it's not unpleasant. It's quite simple. It's lemony, Good, easy reach, I don't grab and go. This has to be one of my favorite easy reaches for maybe the last two decades. I do not know how many Tommy Girl bottles I've been through in that time, but three more. Let's see. The, I will tell you all the notes because it's worth it. This one's worth, worth um, smelling if you haven't. And, but it's, it's mostly green apple with some florals to round out the harshness of the green apple. And unlike a lot of other, other freshies, Tommy Girl will last on your skin. It lasts on mine, it always has. So let's have a look. 
We have apple tree blossom. We have camellia, mandarin orange, and black currant. So it's apple tree blossom. To me, it smells like Granny Smith. Okay, I've not checked these notes for a while, but it is. It as you can see, I've I've gone through a lot of this even in the last. This is probably over the twelve or eighteen months, but I've gone through a number of these bottles. It's a great summer freshy and to me it smells like granny smith apples with some florals and it doesn't get annoying i find some of the citrus freshies can get super annoying one of those that gets annoying on me is the kayali citrus i love just about all of kayali fragrances but the citrus one there i think there's a moss note in the base that just gets a bit dank on my skin not so tommy girl this is still everywhere and people still wear this for a reason. It's just really good grab and go. If I didn't have a collection and I could only have one freshie, it might be this, which is quite a statement because I just got the BDK Citrus Riviera, which is very refined and very amazing. But really, this is the tried and true one, Tommy Girl by Tommy Helfiger. We are getting there. We are getting there. I, the next three actually are suitable for colder weather. They're grab and go, easy reach for colder weather. So my lovely followers in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're still there, hang in there because the, these ones are perfect for the cold time of year that you're having now. First up, Musk Noir for Her by Narciso Rodriguez. So this is Musk Noir for Her, not the rose one that's come out more recently. And I've, I've mentioned this one before. As you can see, I've nearly gone through this 100 ml bottle. This is just a fantastic plum, musk and suede fragrance. There is nothing bad to say about this. It's grab and go easy reach because i enjoy wearing it but there's nothing beastly about it. it it's it's very smooth very smooth and it's not super strong you can smell this i can smell this on myself for the entire duration of the fragrance but i know it's not going to travel too far and because of the suede in the base and the plum and the type of musk it's got enough grit to be worthwhile wearing in cold weather. I love this a lot, Musk Noir for Her by Narciso Rodriguez. Another easy reach for the cold weather, I would say is Ebha by Razazi. This is absolutely a gourmand fragrance, and, but it's not, it's, it's not a strong projector at all. It's very caramelly to me. I think the note, the notes list praline. It's basically to me caramel and apples. Really nice. And I've worn this in hot weather even, but it's perfect for an easy reach for cooler weather. And it lasts a good four to five hours on the skin, but it's, it's low key in its projections. So if you're wanting something sweet and gourmandish, but not that's gonna project, you know, six feet, I'd recommend trying Ebha by Razazi. It's deliciously sweet, you can smell it, but it's, it's not gonna project a long way. A really good grab and go. We are on to the last one. Again, this one has touches of gourmand. And this one, of all of the ones I've mentioned, this is one that I would say works 12 months of the year. I don't think it matters what climate you're in and that is Fever by Jimmy Chu. This I've bought this in the last couple of months and you know I'm, I've gone through nearly half the bottle. There's plum in here, there's uh, powdery notes, I think there's like heliotrope or iris, yeah, plum lychee and grapefruit in the middle, heliotrope, vanilla orchid, jasmine and orange blossom. Let me just find a piece of skin. And the base has tonka bean, vanilla, benzoin, coffee, hazelnut, and sandalwood. Basically what I get is delicately powdery plum, cool florals, the heliotrope, and touches, just touches 
of the hazelnut in particular, a little bit of coffee and the vanilla. Day, night, 12 months of the year, I'd wear this for anything, to anything. It's, it makes me happy. Those gourmand touches are just touches. And I think at the moment I'm enjoying my fragrances that are slightly powdery, not too powdery, but slightly powdery. I think I'm finding that kind of profile very comforting. But this, this is my newest favorite easy reach. That's Fever by Jimmy Choo. That is it for the list. Uh, I just had this idea that um, to, to bring together the fragrances that I would call easy reach fragrances. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.